This week on The Aviators, we introduce you to the EPIC Certified E-1000, while I myself get an unexpected introduction to flying it. Then don't blink or you'll miss this driving force on the runway, an explosive triple jet engine truck that steals the thunder at air shows as it rockets past the competition. My arrival at the Epic Aircraft headquarters in Bend, Oregon on the day of our shoot for Epic's E-1000 turboprop aircraft, I had no intention of actually flying the aircraft as part of the segment. And when Epic's CEO, Doug King, invited me to get behind the controls for a flight in the aircraft, I was hesitant, skeptical of how my primary experience of flying the piston-driven Cessna 210 would translate over to this brand new turboprop-driven aircraft. But after some assurance from Doug, a former 210 pilot himself, I agreed to give it a shot. And boy, was I looking forward to it, although maybe a little nervous. Didn't think we were doing that today, but every day is a good day to fly. Doug, you told me that there's an easy transition for a 210 driver to get into your uh, your Epic. I got to tell you, this doesn't look like a 210. It doesn't feel like a 210. So I'm I'm not feeling as comfortable as you are suggesting I maybe should. No, you will. You will. At the end at the end of today, you'll be fine with it. Okay. So let's let's start this thing up. Despite Doug's reassurance, once the engine was started. Not only did the aircraft sound nothing like a 210, it actually sounded much closer to how a jet or a helicopter would sound, neither of which I have any experience flying whatsoever. In short, I had no idea what this flight had in store for me. Okay, so go ahead and uh, let, it, let it rip. How far forward am I going? All the way. All the way forward. Holy moly! That knocks you back in the seat. Yeah. What's our rotate? Uh, 80 knots. So we're at the 1,000 foot markers there at 80 knots. Rotate. Take gear up. All right. Flaps up. All right. Wow. We are way up in the air real quick. So, Doug, we just went flying in the Epic. I took the controls of the Epic, and I got to tell you, it's, it's suitably named. The flight, the aircraft, the entire experience was indeed epic. We, we climbed on takeoff like I have never done before, and we descended like I've never done before. It didn't feel right because it almost felt like we were going straight up. Clearly, we, we weren't, though, were we? No, no. So we were at about 20 degrees. 20 degrees. That's that's 20 degrees. Felt like more, didn't it? It felt like a <laughs> <laughs> felt like straight up, and it it's... and it just kept accelerating. Doesn't, doesn't take you long to get up on top, does it? Oh, that's incredible. Better than 15,000 feet. We're still climbing. We're still speeding just fine. It's really smoothed out very nicely. Oh, that was a 20-minute climb in my experience, and and we did it in. Less than five. Um, and four minutes and ten four seconds. Four minutes and ten seconds. That's a half hour. <laughs> <laughs> Beginning operations in 2004 with a focus on selling kits for high-performance experimental models of aircraft, Epic now finds itself on the cusp of breaking new ground in the world of general aviation with the E-1000, Epic's first FAA-certified aircraft. And as I was quickly finding out during my flight, in terms of performance, Epic has truly gone all out. Driven by a powerhouse single turbine Pratt & Whitney engine producing a whopping 1,200 horsepower, 
and featuring an airframe constructed with 100% carbon fiber composite material, allowing for maximum durability in aerodynamics, not only can the E-1000 climb out at a staggering 4,000 feet per minute, but its ability to travel over 325 knots true airspeed makes it the fastest single-engine turboprop on the market, rivaling even the speed and performance of most very light jets or VLJs. So we're, we're doing over 300 knots true and still accelerating. But let me just, I, I'm just gonna say that again. We're doing over 300 knots true and accelerating. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's probably double what I would be cruising at in the 210. While the power of the E-1000 is impressive enough, as I was about to find out, its ability yeah, to handle slow down speeds down. along with its maneuverability in the sky was just as impressive. So now here's the next thing you can't do in a 210. We're gonna go down through that hole right over here. Okay. So go ahead and turn off the autopilot. And just take the power all the way back to the stop. Just all the way back. It's, it's an unnatural thing for you to do because of the You'd buy a new engine if you did. <laughs> All, All, like All the way back. All the way back. All the way back. Yeah, that doesn't feel right either. Just, <laughs> I don't want to do that. And you can feel the brakes, right? You can. You absolutely it's can. Really slowing down fast. So you can just turn the airplane and go straight down through that hole. Really. Really. Normally, you know, you'd circle down, to, or normally I would circle down to it or find a way to get down there and gradually get down there and mosey my way down into the hole. We just headed for the hole and torpedoed into it. I mean, it, it didn't feel right. It didn't feel dangerous, but it felt certainly unfamiliar to me. But the plane just handled it like, uh, okay, this is, this is what we're doing. Yeah, and that's the thing you have to get used to. It's just, it's just more, you know? You got more power. You get more up angle, more speed, more down. It's just more everything. It is. You it can is. take more people with more fuel and go more distance. You know, it's, it's it's really a fun, fun airplane to fly because you have so much dynamic range. It's it's incredible, and the speed control is actually easier than a slower airplane. You know, we can speed up so easily and we can slow down so easily. It was. You know, we pulled the power back. It was like hitting the brakes. You've got a brake pedal in there. It's, yeah. it's the throttle control. Right, you right. drop it right back to, to nothing, and it's it feels like you're in the car, in traffic on the highway, and you encounter traffic and you hit the brake. It, it felt like you were hitting the brakes. Where Epic has clearly paid a lot of attention to the speed and performance abilities of their aircraft, just as much focus has been given to its level of comfort with a spacious cockpit, technologically advanced soundproofing that provides the utmost silence in the cabin, and a level of pressurization that despite our rapid climbing and descent rates, ensured that my ears did not once pop during the flight. Holy smoke. What an experience. I, I have never had a flight like that. I have never, ever had a flight like that. This thing is exciting, invigorating, powerful, capable, beyond description. Now, is my reaction, like, am I just going over the top here? Like, what, what do people feel when they come out of the aircraft? Their normal response is something you can't say on TV. <laughs> <laughs> like, holy <Yes>. beep. <laughs> As any pilot will be able to attest, aviation is all about compromise. So while Epic has clearly produced a superior general aviation aircraft with their E-1000, owning one is going to set you back just under $3 million, clearly no small investment. But for an aircraft whose range can take you across the entire United States with just one refueling stop while consuming less than half the fuel of a jet, those with the means will likely find it very well worth its price tag. And as far as Doug's concerned, they're just getting started. It's the fastest propeller, single engine airplane that you can buy. It looks cool, goes fast. My wife really likes it because there's lots of space in the back. <laughs> she can bring all her stuff with her and, uh, and the dog. So 
The interesting thing is, we've even got things to make it faster. We've got things to do to make it a little cooler. And uh, so are we done? Of course not. You know, we've got a room full of engineers that are having a ball, working on a neat airplane, and great technicians building these things. It's, it's all carbon fiber. It's all the latest and greatest stuff. It's lightweight. So, no, we're not done yet. So not there's more. more. There's more. To the more. Yeah, yeah.